the Tech Temple. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Wise Man White again from the Tech Temple. Thanks for checking out another video. And this one, you know what it's about. The one everything white has been waiting for. We're all well, still waiting for this thing. Ice cream sandwich. Got my Nexus S4G here. Just to prove it to you, I'm gonna show you the boot screen. And there it is, the startup. And while I'm starting out, uh, I just wanted to make this video because I've seen a lot of like talk and I've seen a lot of articles and videos about ice cream sandwich, but I have not seen any video that goes in depth. Like you see the overview of ice cream, like some of the new stuff, but you really don't see the apps or this built in. Nobody shows you like what's the mail app look like, what's the Gchat app look like, um, wallpapers and all that stuff, the new stuff. Nobody really shows you all that stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into it. Uh, right now you just saw it, it's loading right now. I still got my uh, case on. You can see how thin it is. I know before I was rocking the uh, red case, but what happened was, if you, as you can see right here, the uh, ice cream sandwich theme is blue instead of uh, the normal Android green, and it didn't match my case, <laughs> my red case. So, um, but it's still the Scipio case. Just in case you never saw the last video, um, it's pretty thin. And like I said, it's black, matches the Nexus S or any phone really because it's black. Um, it's not too flimsy and it's not too hard. That's what I like about it. It's just right. And it's a nice like feather. They call it a feather material. And it feels really good in your hand. It's a lot better to feel this feather material than the back of this Nexus S. That's, as you can see right there, it's real shiny and it's kind of slick. But see the kind of matte finish and you see uh, slick. So still keeps it falling pretty thin when you put it in. So, recommendation, in Scipio case, I got this off of Amazon for $16. Came in two days. So I'll put a link down there so you guys can get that up. But uh, <laughs> you can hear I'm already getting notifications. So, while we're here, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna break it down into uh, the parts. That way you all have an in-depth review of this ice cream sandwich. So, okay, let's start with the lock screen. As you can see, you got the time, you got the date, um, just like normal. And you can see the the 3G up there. Show you that I got 3G right there. And you can see that the uh, the status bar and the battery bar are different. And like these, you see the animation. Still got the uh, TV animation, but when it comes on, just normal. And right here, you can see. It lets you do the camera and lets you do the lock screen. So right now, I'll show you right now. I'll go to the uh, unlock screen and it takes you to the, the front. Now if you lock it again, you want to see the camera. Uh, I'll unlock it to the camera. And you can, from what I've seen, you cannot pick what app goes right there. Um, but you see it goes straight to the camera. And you press back and then it goes back. But, uh... Yeah, so that's that's that. Now I'm going to show you the front screen, or the home screen. Let's just go over the home screen. Unlock. Okay. When you get this, um, this widget right here is fancy widget, so you're not going to have this. I'll show you what yours looks like. Uh, I don't have any room on here. But I'll just delete it and remove it. Alright, so your home, your home screen will look like, let me put this clock on, I want you to, don't want to give any previews away real fast. When you get it, yours will look like this. So you just have the simple analog clock. You got the Google bar up here, the search, and the voice search. You, so you press the microphone button, and when you press it, it does the Google search right there. You can see it's picking up my voice already. I'll cancel that. Notice uh, when you scroll, the Google bar, search bar is still there. So no matter what, I know it's kind of taking up space, but it's still there. It's, all, it's always going to be there. And what you see when you get to the edge, kind of does a 3D effect like you know, hey, you're to the edge. Um, once you're at the edge, it doesn't wipe around. You have to scroll back the opposite way. 
and same thing on this side. So that's the home screen. Um, at the bottom, you get the typical, uh, the phone, the contact, um, home button, the messaging app, and um, what comes here is not Google Talk, but I put it there. And I'm going to go into each of these in depth in these parts of the video. So while we're on here, I'll show you the status bar. It's part of the home screen. You'll get your notifications, um, and you'll get your... You can see how fast it comes down. Like this is a lot slicker. And I see I'm rocking sprint. Just like you know, it's a lot slicker than um, I was expecting. Like it's really, real slick. And from here is nice because instead of hitting menu settings to get to the actual settings, now you, all you have to do is go to hit that at the top, and also automatically take you to the phone settings. So that's really nice. Instead of having to make sure you're on the home screen, press menu, press settings, and so it's just a lot better. And what you also notice is phones. I hope they do do this with all phones. I got this built off of XDA. Um, it's an AOSP mod, so shout out to them. Shout out to him because I know everybody's been waiting for him. He was the same dude that had some big things when the Hero came out. So um, he came up with a, a key release this. And what's nice is if you've seen the uh, Galaxy Nexus, it has the three the three buttons on the screen because there's no capacitive touch buttons on that phone. Well, that's the first phone that's like that. The rest of us, we all have uh, buttons on our phone. So they took that out. So there's one question answered. It, those three capacitive buttons or touch buttons on the screen will not take up screen real estate because they can be taken off and you just go with your normal back uh, menu, search, and home buttons. So that was nice to know. That was one of my concerns. And while we're also on the home screen, let me show you this. What well, we all been, well, at least what I've been wanting for, the rotation animation. Now, if you look at your phone now, and you make it turn right or left if it rotates, it's just really blocky, and it just goes like you don't see a rotation animation. And it's kind of uh, Windows, Windows like, and it goes pretty fast. So I do like that. Let me go into the settings and turn this. Uh, you can see the that's the menu button help system settings wallpaper so it's a different menu you don't get the uh the three by two option that you used to do you just get this list and what's also different here is when you you want to add a widget so let's say I want to add I want to take this clock off you remove instead of going to the bottom you go to the top now and if I wanted to add the clock that I had on before in Android, previous versions of Android, you will hold it and it will say widgets. Well now, all you have is gallery, live wallpapers, and wallpapers. If you want to switch and add widgets, you gotta go to the, men the uh, menu button. So let's check out the menu. Press the menu button. And as you can see, um, it has apps and widgets and that's how you get to the marketplace. So just to prove to you, just to prove to you that it actually works, it takes you to the marketplace. And it's nice because there's no more scrolling up and down. It's just side to side. And you can see kind of like the 3D effect when you stop going in the background after you use it. And if you just want to, instead of sliding all the way to widgets, um, you can just press the button widgets. And they have different widgets on here. You know, bookmarks, clock, calendar, contact. But let's say I want to add that widget that I had on before from Fancy Widgets. And all right, well, I'm showing you. They got the Gmail right there, Gmail label, Google Voice, Google Photos from your Google Plus. So that's always nice. And uh, anything else that takes uh, that has a widget, but default, you know, Google Attitude, weather, music playlists, um, photo gallery. Those are the default ones and settings shortcut. So. I want to add uh, my clock back on, so it's 4x2. So what you do is hold it, and then you drag it on, and it puts it on there. So don't press it, because if you press it, uh, let me select that real quick. If you press it, it won't do anything. So let's say I want to add a uh, Dropbox folder. If you press it, it won't do anything, and you'll get a toast message that just says, yeah, so the toast message will come up and says you got to hold it. So at least it'll let you know. And what's also nice is that these widgets are 
um, they're, they're actual, you can interact with them. So let's say I want to put pictures on there. Picture gallery, hold it. And I'll put it on the front screen. Oh, there's no room. Let me make some room on the screen real quick. Let's delete that. Widgets, photo gallery. All right, so now I got some room. So what's nice, first of all, in the previous versions of Android, you had to just pick like one image if you didn't want to. I'm talking about stock without adding any apps. You just can only pick one image. But now you can do albums and collections or just one image. So let's say I want to do one specific album. Let's say you have an album for family. You want to show your family. So I'll just do uh, screenshots just because I got a lot of them. And I'll just do the screenshot app right there. All right, so what it did right there is it had a lot of, uh, had this, and what you can do is flip through them. They're 3D, so you can flip all you want through them. You can flip backwards, and so that's what's nice. And then you want to tap one, go to the gallery, takes you right there. And go ahead and remove that. And there you go. So that is a home screen and the app drawer, or the app drawer, sorry, and the notification window. And one thing about the notifications, which is nice, now you can swipe away and you're done. So that's what's nice. All right, hope you guys enjoyed that. At least I gave you a more in-depth look of what the home screen is like and what can, what can you can do with the widgets. And uh, here's some of the widgets you want to see. That's the Google Plus widget. You can see they all got a new look to them. There's a calendar widget, um, and there's also the Gmail widget. And the last thing I'll talk about is folders. So right now you can see I got a folder called Games. So I got all my games right there. Jaw, Nova, Moon Chaser, World of Goo. So let's say, um, I'll just take Paper Stacker out of here. The way you add it is you go to the app drawer, apps, and let's say it was P Paper Stacker. Hold it and you're going to put on a home screen. So let's say, oh, you have a bunch and you want to make a new group. You hold that, games, and it's in there and it opens. And if you want to name it, you just click um, right here, the actual name of it, and you can rename it right there. See the keyboard popped up, so I can rename it. And if you want it, what's also nice is you can also put these folders in the drawer. So let's say I want talk in the Google and I want to move this down there, which has all my Google apps on it. So you press that, and it has maps, Google Music, Market, YouTube, all the Google stuff is in there. But I use Google Talk the most, so I'm going to take it out of here and put it down there. Oh, sorry, I'll move this. Take Google Talk and put it down there. All right, that's the last thing I want to show you about the home screen. All right, so now you know about the home screen, the notification window, and the app drawer. So hopefully that you guys enjoyed that little in-depth view. Uh, stay tuned for part two.